Vidura College, Colombo. Grade 2, Jesse. Grade 2, Unit 1. Hello dear children, how are you? So, are you ready to start your first Jesse lesson? Now, without any delay, let's move to our lesson. Our first lesson is Unit 1 in the house. We are dividing this lesson into two parts as follows. Part 1. The house and the flat. The rooms of a house. Part 2. Objects in the house and prepositions. Today, we are focusing on Unit 1 in the house, Part 1. In this lesson, you will be able to learn how to describe the place you live and to talk about the rooms in the house. The house and the flat. Do you live in a house or a flat? Do you live in a house or a flat? This is the first question I'm asking from you. The answer should be as follows. If you live in a house, you have to say, I live in a house. If you live in a flat, you have to say, I live in a flat. So, if we ask you, do you live in a house or a flat? You have to say, I live in a house or I live in a flat. Question number two. What's this? What's this? The answer should be It's a house. If you get a question like this, the answer you have to give is It's a house. Then the question three is, and this, where is it pointed to? Well, this pointed to the garden, isn't it? So, the answer should be, it's a garden. Children, carefully observe this. Look at the given two questions and the answers that you have to give. Let's move to the next one. Remember, we use determiner its. Can you see in both answers we have used its.
What's this? Where is it pointed to? Yes, it is pointed to the flat. So the answer should be It's a flat. Let's look at question number 5. And this Well Can anyone guess what's the answer? Yes. It's pointed towards the balcony, right? So the answer should be It's a balcony. Can you see in these questions also you have to use determiner it's when you are going to give the answer. Now we are moving to the rooms of a house. This is a picture of a house and the rooms in it. Listen, say the rooms of a house or a flat after the number. One. Hall. Number two is living room. Number three is the dining room. Number four is the kitchen. Number five, can anyone guess? Yes. It's the bathroom. And number six. It's the bedroom. Then number seven. Number seven is the laundry room. And the eighth one or the last one. It's the guest room. Now. Shall we read the names of the rooms again? Okay. Number one is the hall. Number two is the living room. Number three is the dining room. Number four Kitchen. Number five is the bathroom. Number six, bedroom. Number seven is the laundry room. Number eight is the guest room. Now, let's move to the questions. Number one. Do you live in a house or a flat? This is one of the main questions that will be asked by you, asked by the examiner during the exam. So, the answer should be I live in a house or I live in a flat. Question 2. Is there a balcony? Yes. 
Yes, there is. Oh, you can say, no, there isn't. Question 3. How many rooms are there in your house? In this question, you have to tell the total number of rooms in your house. So the answer can be like this. There are 8 rooms in my house. If your house has only 4 rooms, then the answer should be there are 4 rooms in my house. So, the number of rooms can be varied. Question 4. Is there a dining room? Can you guess the answer? Well, the answer is, yes, there is. Oh, no, there isn't. If there's no dining room in your house, you have to say, no, there isn't. Question 5. How many bedrooms are there? How many bedrooms are there? Now you have to think about the number of bedrooms in your house. Then you have to give the answers. There is one bedroom. In this picture you can say there is only one bedroom. Question number 6. Tell me about your bedroom. In this question, you have to tell about the things in your bedroom. In my bedroom, there is a bed, a lamp, and a picture. Okay, now let's move to another one. Question 7. Is there a fridge in the living room? Now in this question, we are asking about the objects in your house. Is there a fridge in the living room? So, the answer should be, no, they are present. No, they are present. Question 8. Is there a table in your dining room? Is there a table in your dining room? Yes, there is. Question number 9. Is this a kitchen? In this question, we are pointing into a room and we are asking about its name. Is this a kitchen? Yes, it is. Because the arrow is pointed at the kitchen. So, the answer should be, yes, it is. Question 10. Is this a bathroom? Does it look like a bathroom? No. So, the answer is, 
No, it isn't. It's a hall. Question 11. Is this the bathroom? Now, you can guess and tell me the answer. Is this the bathroom? Yes, it is. Look at the spotlight. Is there a hall in your house? This is a question. So, the answer can be like this. Yes, there is or no, there isn't. The next question is, are there cupboards in your kitchen? You can use yes, there are or no, there aren't. Okay, children. I hope you all understood the lesson very well. Always remember to practice your speech on what you learned today. Then, till, till we come back, stay safe and healthy. Thank you.